Megatron is gonna go total savage mode. What's up Alfonso Nation, it's Alfonso Peterman here today and welcome to another episode of my approaching TF5 series. This is simply a series where I discuss all the facts and rumors in regards to the upcoming Transformers The Last Night movie. And in this episode, I want to talk about the top 10 most anticipated events in Transformers The Last Night. I know there's a lot of things going on for the film. We have tons of events and a lot of crazy... I mean, it's, it's just... This movie is packed with a lot of different elements, but I wanted to highlight the top 10 elements that I want to see in this film. The reason why I'm excited, the reason why I'm pumped, the reason why I'm making this video. Just to let you guys know how the scale works, number 10 is my least anticipated event, and number 1 is my most anticipated event. So, uh, we're going to go from least to the best. I'm going to say the best for last. So, let's start. And number 10. Number 10 is the mystery of Lockdown's ship. Now, we have seen Lockdown's ship in previous trailers. We've seen it present during the final battle. And we've also seen it um, when Dragonstorm jumped off of it in the second international trailer. And he started to fly away. So we see Lockdown's ship, but we don't see who's inside of it. We don't see who's controlling it. We don't even know why it's back. If Lockdown is dead, who took over the ship? Why is the ship back? So that's my number 10. My number 9 is Stonehenge. Uh, the involvement of Stonehenge is something that I was anticipating since the very beginning. Since they started filming for Transformers the last night. I want to know what what is Stonehenge? How, how does that incorporate into the film? What does Stonehenge have to do with the plot of the film? Um, I also, I'm really, really interested to see um, how Stonehenge is going to be uh, presented in the film. Uh, if you guys have not yet seen, there was a new poster. I believe it is the Chinese official poster of Transformers The Last Night. And there you got at the bottom Stonehenge. But what I thought was interesting is that at the bottom you see there's kind of like some light flares coming from it going straight up. So maybe that's a hint that maybe Stonehenge is going to have some type of mystery mystical powers um, or some type of abilities. It's going to do something cool and I want to see that in CGI. I want to see that CGI and that is number nine. Number eight is the secret history of the Transformers. Now we have had brief introductories to the history of the Transformers. We've had um, Optimus Prime in the first film he explained um, Megatron's conquest towards evil and what caused that whole entire coalition um, of the Decepticons. We've gotten brief pieces of history throughout the trilogy. You know, we had Optimus Prime talking about the seed and the creators and how they had to cyberform uh, organic life forms. And, you know, we've had, you know, the situation with Cybertron in the opening scene in Dark of the Moon with Optimus Prime narrating that, how that war happened and how the Ark escaped. So, and of course, you know, we had the Harvester at the beginning of Revenge of the Fallen. So, you guys can see throughout the trilogy, there's been brief mentions of the history but there has not been any elaborate explanation of the history i am very very interested to know the exact history and how does all those bits and pieces that we've gotten over the past how they all tie together how they all intertwine so that is number eight number seven is a bumblebee and hot rod in the era of the nazis um that is something that we've never seen at all ever before nothing with nazis has have ever been hinted in the past and in, in in the previous trailers we saw bumblebee driving up ambushing the nazi soldiers on behalf of the american soldiers and then we saw later on in another trailer hot rod accompanying him in that battle so i'm really interested to see how that kind of not really modern day but that more recent event how that incorporates with the current day and present day story. I would say it's probably the last part of the story that leads up to the final part, which is the battle, the fulfillment of the prophecy or whatever. You know, I feel like that Nazi situation, that's going to be very important. So I'm really excited to see Bumblebee and Hot Rod destroying some Nazis <laughs> in Transformers the last night. That is number seven. Number six is Cybertron, or whatever that is, colliding with Earth. I 
absolutely love that. To me, that is a pivotal conclusion of something that we've been anticipating for a long time. Since Dark of the Moon, we have been anticipating something coming to Earth. Even in Revenge of the Fallen, we anticipated something coming to Earth. If that is Cybertron, I feel like that's going to be an epic conclusion to what we've been waiting for, to what the uh, Autobots have been trying to avoid and what the Decepticons have been trying to get done. <laughs> so I am very, very excited to see that. And another reason, you know, I'm going to be watching this movie in IMAX. I'm going to be watching this movie on the big screen in IMAX 3D. And I know that there's a lot of awesome shots in CGI that Michael Bay has set up with the roots of Cybertron and the clouds and the air battles. I think that's going to be a moment that everybody just... Everybody's jaw drops <laughs> because that is like an epic scenery, the likes of which we've never seen before in the live action franchise. Um, so I feel like it's not only going to be a pivotal conclusion, but it's going to look amazing. My number five most anticipated event in Transformers of Last Night is the rematch. Rematch 2017 with Bumblebee versus Barricade. Again, I feel like it's going to be a pivotal conclusion once again. I think Michael Bay is just closing chapters in this film because we saw Bumblebee versus Barricade, but if you kind of looked at the end of Transformers, Barricade didn't really die. He was just kind of sitting there, but if you look at it, his eyes were still red. We didn't actually see him go out. So there's no confirmation that he actually died. And, of course, Barricade was back in Dark of the Moon. So, having them fight again is going to be epic for people who've been, who've been following this franchise since 2007. Number four is the Knights of Cybertron. I put this one on number four for a reason. Because the Knights of Cybertron, in my opinion, is what separates, is what distinguishes this film from the rest of the franchise. Having Knights of Cybertron, and then you got Roundtable Knights actually come together it's an amazing thing to me and it distinguishes this film what i like about it is that it brings this film into a point of originality a point of you know uh uniqueness because there's no other film that has seven twenty nights there's no other film with steel bane you know what i mean so that is awesome and also because i'm a big fan of medieval history i love knights I love King Arthur and all those epic legends and stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Because I love history to begin with. I'm a big fan of history. And having these guys in history, <laughs> it's going to be insane. So I'm really excited to see the Knights of Cybertron and how did they involve themselves with the history of the medieval history. With, with King Arthur and with the the round table knights with the legend with all that stuff so that is number four number three is the final battle with dragon storm again uniqueness originality dragon storm we've never seen him before we've never seen him in any live action franchise and here he is in the final battle going nuts breathing fire transforming in a very strange way loving dragon storm dragon storm is not like um a typical Transformer, as you guys may already tell. Um, his parts are not like, you know, parts of a car that's just been transformed to form a robotic form. It's like little shards, little pieces, little... It's almost like, you know, an unfinished Blender project. <laughs> like, his transformation, from what I saw, it's like millions of little pieces changing into a different form. He's, he's, he's like, he's spiky. You know, he doesn't have, like, actual flat parts he's more spiky so that's going to be interesting i wonder how they're going to make that look I, I can't even like imagine how that's going to look but i'm very excited for the final battles more specifically i feel like this final battle is going to be one of the most epic final battles in the history of transformers and i feel like even in the future films this one is going to go down as one of the best ones and my number two most anticipated event in transformers of last night is Optimus Prime versus Megatron. I love that. I know we've seen it a lot, and yes, I had to get over that idea um, because it's always epic to see Optimus Prime fight Megatron. But the reason why I put this one at the top is because this is a specific fight. This is not just a fight between good and evil. This is a fight between evil and evil. 
Okay, this is almost like the Decepticons in fighting, like, you know, Starscream versus Knockout, you know? <laughs> These are just like two evil guys are fighting. So, to me, that draws my attention because, like, wait, if you guys are both evil, then you guys should both want the same thing. But they're fighting for a reason, and so I just, I can't wait for that. Because Megatron looks insane, and I don't think he's playing in this one. I think in this one, Megatron is not giving any mercy. He is going to try his very best to wipe Optimus Prime off the face of the Earth. If it means his last breath, or his last spark, <laughs> like, I feel Megatron is going to go total savage mode. Kind of like Optimus Prime in Chicago, Dark of the Moon, how he raged. I think Megatron. We're going to see a, our first epic Megatron rage in Transformers The Last Night. And last but most, the number one thing I want to see in Transformers The Last Night, my most anticipated event, the reason why I am itching to get my tush on that theater seat is because of the journey of Optimus Prime. Guys, we have a lot going on with Optimus Prime in this film. We have Optimus and Quintessa. Whatever happens with that, we have Optimus Prime versus damn near everybody, okay? He's versus Bumblebee, versus Megatron, versus Infernicons, versus Dragonstorm. I mean, Optimus Prime is fighting a lot of individuals. My thing is I want to know why. I want to know why he's fighting those individuals specifically. I want to know what happens with Quintessa. I, that is just the number one thing in my mind. What is going on with Optimus Prime? What is wrong? Is it because he's choosing to do this because his planet is dying and he just wants his planet to live again? Is it really that? Or is it manipulation? Is it Quintessa lying to him? Did she tell him something and he thought it was going to happen if he would kill off you know, the Autobots and the humans? And then he turns out that she didn't tell the truth. Or, you know, is it him being controlled by her? Does it have to do something with Unicron? Like, what is going... Like, I want to know what's really going on with Optimus Prime. Because personally, Optimus Prime... Uh, you guys already know. I, I, I probably shouldn't even say it. He's my favorite character. He's the reason why I'm here today. Why doing this video. Because his character inspired me to, to first of all, be who I am today. And start a YouTube channel with Transformers. Optimus Prime is the cause of this whole thing. And now he's evil. Now he is... Or maybe he's not evil. Maybe he's just, you know, maybe he's just making a really bad decision. Or maybe he's being controlled. Who knows? But I want to find out what is wrong with Optimus. That is my number one most anticipated event in Transformers The Last Night. So, with that being said, guys, I do thank you guys for watching, and my final question, my closing question for you guys, what are your top most anticipated things you want to see in Transformers The Last Night? It doesn't have to be 10, but you can put 10 if you like. Whatever are your top most anticipated things, drop them in the comment section below. I want to check them out, and I want to see why are you guys excited to see this film. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is Alfonso, and I will see you in my next video. Alfonso Nation salute. Peace out.